this course, we'll discuss only functions for which the domain and range are the sets of real numbers. And one of the easiest way to define such a function is by giving an equation that specifies how to obtain the value of y when the value of x is given. Such equations can be of two types. The first type is the equation of the form y equals expression that contains x. If this function is defined that way, we say that the function is defined explicitly. Or it can be defined by an equation that contains x and y that is different from the type 1. And in this case, we say that the function is defined implicitly. Now let's look at the uh, first type the equation of the form y equals expression that contains x. Let's look at the example. y is equal 3x minus 2. On the right hand side we have expression with x. Now if I have value of x then just plugging in that value to that equation I will obtain easily and quickly value of y. For example if x is a real number, so let's say negative 2, then y is equal 3 times negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 6 minus 2, which is negative 8. And I have value of y quickly obtained. Now, in this case, uh, the expression that contains x, the right-hand side of that equation, is often denoted as f of x if f is uh, the value, is the name of our function. So the functions from this point on can be defined either as y equals uh, the formula, so we can say y is equal to 3x minus 2, or we can say that f of x is equal 3x minus 2. Now you have to remember that f y is f of x. So f of x is just another way to denote the output that corresponds to the input x. This is in no way a multiplication of f and x. The parentheses cannot be removed. Uh, in any way, f of x, that expression right here, is the one entity and it has to be kept like that. Now let's discuss now the second type of the equation where we say that function is defined implicitly. For example, I can write the equation 3x minus y is equal to. Now here, if I have the value of x and I want to find what the value of y is, I will have to solve the equation for y. For example, if x is equal negative 2, then we get the equation 3 times negative 2 minus y is equal to 2. And to get y, I have to solve that equation for y. So I will have negative 6 minus 2 is equal y. And therefore, y is equal negative 8. I still get the same value as before because that equation is exactly the same as the one, but here to compute the value of y, I had to go through the whole process of solving an equation. Now, the question is, if I write the equation in x and y, does this equation define a function? And this uh, question is going to be addressed in the next video. Thank you.